Today I'm going to show you guys where to find the Black Steel Twin Blade in Elden Ring DLC. The closest Site of Grace is the High Road Cross, just after you finish the Castle Enzes. And you're going to be going pretty much up the road. And as soon as you get to the crossroads, you turn left and go a little bit off the path to get to the Church of the Crusades. So it's a big cross up here. And then you're going to head up a little hill into this little like, encampment here. And you're going to be looking for a black knight who's going to drop the weapon. So I'm already at the castle or the church, I should say. And we are going to start heading over to our marker. And it's simply just up these little rocks here. Just pop over here to the left and you just pop yourself up here, then up again. And now we're about to fight the knight. Now, I actually think I might be able to sneak a backstab in against this guy. Let's see, my character for some reason does not want to crouch. Now he will, and I still managed to get the backstab, which is very good. This guy obviously has a lot of health, as you can see, or a lot of armor, so you have to be careful. But you're pretty much guaranteed the black steel twin blade when you kill him. It's not something that you have to farm for, usually. If you don't get it the first time, obviously just keep going until you get it. You will get it eventually. But in my experience, it's a 100% drop rate. Has a spinning slash skill, skill favored by Dex warriors, slash foes as your body spins. Additionally, input allows for a follow-up attack. And this is going to do a bit of holy damage. So if you're ever looking for a weapon that does holy damage, you can actually pick this up and use it. So this is the R1 light attack. Then we have the, L the R2 heavy attack which you can chain together, of course. And then you have the L2 heavy attack, which I don't have enough fate for, I don't think. So we're going to pop our little fate medallion on and hopefully we'll have enough fate now. We do. So let's use it. This is what happens when you do the spinning slash with an a fate attack. We're going to do a quick backstab and we're going to jump down. We're going to use the L2 heavy attack on him. We're going to chain it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I haven't got this thing powered up yet, but that was actually really nice. Hold on a second. We're going to try that again. Hmm. I haven't even upgraded this yet and I'm already liking it. I'm actually a big fan of twin blades. People overlook twin blades for sure. So it goes for strength, dex, and faith. It doesn't seem to be doing any bleed uh, passively, but it definitely looked like it was doing a little bit of bleed damage against those guys. So I wonder if it maybe does a tiny bit in the background. I doubt it because it would say if it does, but perhaps. So the Black Steel Twin Blade is not a boss weapon, which means we could put Ashes of War on it. Let's see what Ashes of War are available for us. And it looks like Seppuku is actually available for the Twin Blade. There's 85 passive blood loss build up. And it looks like we can put poison on it as well, which does 99 poison build up. Let's see if we can put some fire onto it. We can put fire onto it, of course, but it's going to be... It's not going to do a natural passive effect for fire. So we're going to try out the flame spear first and see how that looks. It's more about looks than anything for this. Ooh, doesn't that look great? I think that is definitely a weapon I'm interested in using in the future. For sure. And let's put the seppuku on it, which is my favorite ability for pretty much most weapons in this game. So it's either between poison and cold or frost or seppuku honestly so let's try seppuku and see what happens when we do that let's see how cool this looks now that is one sexy looking wind blade holy shit i actually think i'm gonna end up using this thing i don't use twin blades very often but i think i'm gonna have to use this one 
So it uses normal smitting stones, as you can see, because it's not a boss weapon and you can put your own Ash of War on it, which means it's going to be quite cheap to upgrade. And you can buy all of the ingredients, of course, from the shop. I think they should have a shop next to the blacksmith, by the way, because it would be way more convenient than having to go back and forth. Anyway, what do you think of the Black Steel Twin Blade? I definitely think it's one of the best Twin Blades I've seen in the game. It looks amazing, and I think I'm going to end up using this thing. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you again in the next video.